Hello Aries and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive. I am here to do a 12 card Celtic spread that will cover the full month of May 2018. Now if this does resonate with you please be sure to like subscribe and note your comments below. You know you guys know I just absolutely love hearing from you and then also if it does not resonate take what does and then just get rid of what doesn't. This is for all Aries sun, moon, and rising signs. If you have an Aries sun sign and your moon and rising is a little bit different, then you're going to want to check out those other videos that I put out to get that full message for yourself. Okay, guys? Uh, and that will allow you to use your own intuition on the best way possible. Okay? So please be sure to check out our Facebook page too. Um, it is The Guided Intuitive. And uh, if you click the button visit group, then it'll lead you into to just a couple questions uh, that I'll ask you and then uh, then you can uh, you know once that's answered uh, we just want to make sure that we've got a really beautiful strong supportive group of people and then uh, we can let you into the group but it is a closed group predominantly so just please note that but if you do need some like-minded souls and support I, I'm just so proud of the people that are in there right now they are just rocking it so <laughs> if you want to be involved in that please join us uh, you'll have a lot of fun um, so let's go ahead and get started. If you would like, of course, a personal read, please go to theguidedintuitive.com, guys, uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and get you hooked up, okay? All right, so the first card that we're going to talk about here, this is actually going to be the issue at hand. So this is the actual present situation. And Aries, the card that we have here is the goddess of the unknown. So this talks about a new chapter in your life that is just around the corner. And this is saying to embrace this, you need to remove your fear and embrace the unknown. So take a look at this here. So take a look at this. So it does look like someone's a little fearful of something, okay, right? Um, and it, it, this is basically talking about that it's to really ease your fears about the future and about the unknown. So there might be something that you're stepping into right now, Aries, that you're just kind of fearful of what's going to happen, right? Whether it's a partnership, a work situation, whatever situation or inquiry that is in the, the forefront of your mind, um, this is basically saying that, uh, that it, it, it's here to help you ease your fears, okay? And even though you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, you're really being encouraged to trust, okay? And uh, you're on the right path. And, and note that, Aries, it's even when at times... Even when at times you feel that you're, you've just totally strayed from it 100%, okay? So keep that in mind that there is a major chapter in the story of your life at this moment that is uh, that has recently come to a close. And then, then there's an exciting new chapter that's just opening up for you. It's about to begin. And it's through the current emptiness at this time that, the, the, that new uh, seeds can be planted. And then, you know, flowers can sprout above and soon you're going to see the light shining on these types of, 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 on yourself and on these flowers just brighter than ever. So this is something that it wants you to know, you know, and it's only through the darkness that we can see these beautiful stars at night, right? So just keep that in mind. So that's the current situation at hand. Now, this is actually what is uh, influencing that or the obstacle of that. And this talks about manifestation, guys. This is manifestation. And this has to do with your efforts and areas of your determination, as well as your perseverance. And this is saying that this has all paid off, okay? So take a look at this. It's the angel of manifestation. So this is pretty darn beautiful, guys, okay? So it's just saying that, you know, something that you have really worked hard towards is going to manifest. It's about to manifest for you, okay? And it's not a time, I should keep this, I don't know why I turned this over. Um, so it's not a time to actually, uh, you know, focus on something else or start celebrating, but it is a time to continue to focus and balance and not lose any sight of what your, your your whole goal was, your whole purpose was, okay, at the very, very beginning. The thing that you may have been afraid of, um, that you've really been kind of manifesting for answers, um, this is just saying that, that your efforts and your determination have paid off. 
and and something you've dreamed about is coming to fruition. So just continuously to you know continuously work quietly and 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 focused and be real focused in terms of about your work and just trust uh, that everything is falling into place for yourself. So this is really beautiful. It's not really an obstacle. It's really just focusing on you know continuously you know focusing on that goal that you want to. And then we'll see how this plays out as we go through. So let's move into your most recent past. And this talks about diet and nutrition. And this wants you to pay attention to what you eat and what you drink. And uh, because you intuitively know, Aries, what is really good for you at this time. So as we head into spring, this might be something that is, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, you know, I guess a part of your 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 uh, on the forefront of your mind right now, and you know that know that more than anyone, right? And this is just saying that really pay attention to what you what you eat and drink um, because it's going to have effect on your body and of course your manifestations and all of that great stuff. Um, but this is this also wants you know it's not even so much it's 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 about your diet and nutrition that you place in your body, but it, in in the food and the drink. But it's also, you know, any substances and things like that. But it's also what you feed your mind as well, guys. That is your food for your mind, your spirit, your heart, and your soul. So pay attention to any negative beliefs as well. Any, uh, you know, negative thoughts that or, or beliefs that might be in your way. And focus in on just really hacking them out and replacing them with a, a, a positive, uh, uh, you know, a sentence that will actually move you into the direction where you can actually feel it inside you and the energy moves you. So it's got to be replaced with something you feel very positive about that you truly believe in and your energy is aligned with that. And replace it with that. So even if it's just one thing to start off with that can get you going in the right direction, that, that's absolutely great. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, it's really important to focus in on that stuff and to really pay attention, of course, to, yes, of what you eat and drink and all that great stuff. But uh, uh, definitely, uh, you know, by feeding you, yourself, you're going to feel better uh, and you're going to uh, you know, just feel better, look better, and just be better all around, body, mind, and soul. So the next card we're going to talk about is your present situation, okay? And this talks about compassion. And this is saying that self-criticism is diminishing your self-worth. So take a look at this. This is goddess of compassion. So you might, it's shown up in your reading here just to really make sure that you're more compassionate, not only for others, but also for yourself. And you really, it's what's really most important is to focus on uh, just taking care of of yourself and getting rid of any self criticism, just like we talked about the food for the body and the food for the thoughts um, it 's really important to focus on those because um, your your thoughts beliefs uh, can actually directly be related and be driven into how your actions uh, and what you do uh, you know and, and how that the outcome is for those types of things so have compassion. Uh, and don't be so hard on yourself uh, and because that is diminishing your self-worth. Really focus on giving yourself um, the, the food that you need, the positive reinforcement that you need. And uh, the more compassion that you give yourself, the better you're going to be for those that are around you, right? And, uh, you know, positive or negative qualities really exist in everyone and everything, and um, you just are really more, it's kind of like the yin and the yang. And any self-criticism is diminishing your self-worth and is keeping you in that illusion that you need to improve in order to be worthy, worthy of success, you know, um, or worthy of happiness or worthy of fulfillment. So really, truly have compassion for yourself and love yourself and ex really accept all that you are. And stop striving for something that's impossible to attain. Because through love, your life can magically transform. Okay? So give yourself some compassion. All right? Very strong message. I, I really like that. Now, now we're going to talk about um, what your, uh, your um, near future is. Okay? 
And this is goddess of nature. And this is saying that what you reap, you are going to sow and your dream is coming to fruition. Man, I don't know what other sign got this car, so be sure to check your other signs for sure. But what you're dreaming is now coming to fruition here, guys. Isn't this beautiful? There's a nice, beautiful star up there. Um, so that's what it is saying. So what, just note that whatever energy and whatever efforts uh, of any sort that you're putting towards something, whether it is a relationship whether it is a, uh, you know, a work situation, uh, whatever the case may be, a family situation, whatever effort that you're putting in is what you're actually going to get out of it. So keep that in mind and, and just focus on, you know, putting, you know, all your efforts into, uh, you know, into what it is that you want to see come to fruition. Okay. It's, it's saying that a dream's about to come true. Okay, so it's probably some sort of idea, venture, or or or, or, or project, or relationship um, that you've planted, and this could be from some time ago. But your harvest is here, and that's what nature wants you to know. As the seasons coming about, uh, and the efforts that have gone, you know, that it takes to go through those seasons, it allows you know spring and summer to come. So the fall and winter allow for that. So just accept really all of the blessings that are coming your way. Okay, and just with all that love and with all that courage and dedication and commitment, everything that you've done in the past is now bringing you to this point. So that's in the near future, guys. So you're going to have to tell me in your comments. Now we're going to go to the far future. And this talks about conflict resolution. And it's saying that you're encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. So what does that mean to you, Aries? There's got to be some situation. Uh, and it could be a person. Uh, you know, it could be a, a man or a woman. And it could be just a situation at work, a family situation. Whatever situation comes to mind, this is saying that, uh, that sometimes there is a lot of strength when you walk away. It's not a sign of weakness, guys. It's really a sign of strength and of empowerment. And, and if you feel in a situation that is the best thing to do, um, it, it's what, what it's basically saying is that whatever comes to mind when you think of the conflict resolution, this is what it's, it's, it's urging you to do. OK, so just note that uh, that is uh, in play and you don't want to cloud your energies, especially when you have your dreams that are coming. You've got manifestation and you're confronting fears and all. you want to stay on track there. Right. And have that compassion for yourself to be able to do that and not allow that within your life. So that is going to, it's actually speaking to someone, okay? Now the next card we're going to talk about is you. Uh, and this is a card about, you know, guidance for you here. And this talks about starting to use knowledge and apply areas which you already know and to trust your intuition, Okay. And so that's what this talks about. Now, while well, study is super important, and remember that, you know, a lot of the times also all you truly need to know is what's inside you, especially as it relates to your intuition at times. So, you know, there is, um, you know, this knowledge has appeared here because it's starting to tell you to put all those wonderful, uh, all the no wonderful knowledge that you already possess into good use right now. It's saying that you don't need to maybe go further on some courses or get, you know, you know, more accreditation and more accreditation, that type of thing. It's just saying in order to be effective, you know, in the work that you really want to do right now is you just need to start to do it. Start doing it now and, um, and, and start to apply what you already know and trust your intuition. Okay. And focus on love and light and just really, really know um, that the universe uh, is guiding you and then the knowledge is going to really help you act in the best interests of, of everyone concerned. So, you know, keep that in mind as you go through this process, use the knowledge as it's, as it relates to certain situations and as it goes into the unknown. Okay. So trust your intuition there. Now the next card comes into your environment and what that is. This is beautiful guys. This talks about strength. 
and really standing up to what you really hold to be true and what really, um, uh, you know, the power within yourself and to use that beautiful strength and, and, and to stand up for what you believe because you're going to be respected by holding your ground. I like this, guys. <gasps> wow, this is really great. And that might even have to do with this conflict resolution because maybe typically that you would like to step in and do what you do. But this is, you know, and it, but it's sustained for you to walk away. Maybe it's going to take strength in order to do that, right? And it also takes strength in terms of you know, standing by your knowledge and, and bringing your manifestation into getting a dream come true. So you're going to know more how this resonates with you. Now, this next card talks about uh, is uh, about your hopes and your fears. And this series talks about addiction healing. This is about a time for positive transformation. And this is a time for healing. So it could be, again, in a relationship that you're healing in the thoughts about yourself and, 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 you know, that type of thing, what you feed yourself here, having compassion towards yourself. Maybe you're healing yourself in a, in a certain area. And this is saying that, you know, your beliefs need to change to increase your self-worth. And that's going to take, you know, uh, this, this will take some, some healing, but it's saying that a positive transformation and healing are definitely on its way. So you're going to know best on how this, this, you know, kind of plays in for you at this particular moment, but that's what this talks about right now. And, uh, you know, you'll know if we you know what type of addiction is necessary for you. Sometimes it's just, you know, uh, you know, uh, bad, uh, maybe, maybe in a relationship, uh, you could be addicted to a person, uh, you know, a, a codependent situation, uh, it could be, you know, eating or drinking too much, anything of the sort, guys. Um, this is really just calling you to pay attention to that at this particular time. So let me know what this means for you guys. You're going to know. OK, so the next card we get to is your outcome and then your two clarifiers. So let's see, Aries, what's there. Oh, guys, this is great. This talks about a new chapter that you're totally unfolding into this new chapter in your life. And it's exciting. And it's about to unfold at this particular time. Isn't this beautiful? This is great. So maybe this is something that you've kind of gone through this a little bit and you've made some realizations and you've really kind of seen yourself in, in terms of where you're at. Because this really talks about that there is a, 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 a brand new life that is, is coming into play here. So I, I really, really love this. This is saying that in the next coming days or the next coming weeks, uh, your life is about to unfold in a new way. And um, you're going to begin to feel this, guys. There's like this new renewed sense of clarity and this renewed sense of direction for yourself. And um, this is saying that some magical and exciting things are about to happen. And as you're intuitively guided to really explore all those possibilities for yourself, so you're being guided to, you know, kind of go through some exploration here. And through this process, you're going to uncover parts about yourself, um, you know, areas that maybe perhaps that you just never knew you had. And uh, it's just going to uncover. So embrace this exciting period and know the past is behind you and forever evolving. And then through love, it's going to bring you through this brand new journey of blessings coming your way. I love that. Okay, let's see what your clarifiers are here. This talks about angel of prayer. So ask the universe and the angels to help and, and give you the guidance that you need. So with this new life, you might just have something that you really want to see come through to fruition. And this, you know, is a part of the manifestations and all of that that came through over here. So um, this is saying, um, you know, just ask the angels and ask them for their guidance. And then it moves us on to a union. So this could be about a particular partnership, guys, that you might be thinking of because it's saying that a union, a partnership of some sort is blessed and it's destined for greatness. 
And this card has come out a lot for just a few other uh, signs. And it's kind of like the light is shedding, uh, you know, onto this particular union. And think it's just a lot about growth and that type of thing. So you're going to know what this means to you. But, you know, something beautiful is being birthed out of this particular union. Um, you know, maybe it's a union with yourself. And then this it, it's just this whole new journey for yourself. And it's what you got that you... You know, your prayers are being answered, you know, through the uh, the divine. So I'm really liking this, guys. I'm going to pull some cards because I want to find out, you know, the the uh, the addiction thing. I want to actually pull if there's any uh, few uh, cards that we can pull for this to kind of help you. So let's see what that might be for you here. So on the addiction healing, what advice can we give for Aries in this? This is talking about physical activity. It probably also resonates with your diet nutrition over here on this side, guys. So definitely very, very important to focus on the physical activity. I think it can help shift your energy within any type of physical, you know, addiction. Maybe the addiction is, you know, focusing on, on watching your health and food and drink intake and all of that. And this is saying that definitely physical activity, being out in nature and all of that thing are really, are definitely, definitely important. And it affects, you know, it, it's that feel good that those, it reduces stress, right? And, and uh, releases those feel good endorphins, right? <laughs> and, you know, right in the brain. And it just creates this overall sense of well-being, self-confidence and peace. And then you start to attract what you feel, Right. So I love that. And that moves on to this next card, which is self-worth. So that's really, really important. What else? Teaching and learning. Okay, so maybe why, as you're learning um, these things that you're overcoming in terms of your addiction, you're also teaching others about it as well. So uh, that's, that's quite a beauty. I, I really like that. Uh, very, very, very beautiful there. So that's pretty neat. You know what's interesting, guys? That these these cards here, these purple tar cards, talk about completion, compassion, forgiveness, and humanitarianism. So you've got two purple cards in a row, and then you've got abundance. So that means that maybe you've got a, you've you've kind of accomplished what you've done within here, and it's uh, you know on this addiction side and abundance. You're going to get the abundance uh, that you want from that, and you know out of that. And then um, any final cards that we would need to know. As it relates to your final outcome, let's see what that is. Individuality, maybe focus on yourself first, uh, as well as focusing on others. It also talks about parenting and then use your creativity. So, you know, this might have to do with some sort of union, whether it's children or that type of thing. And uh, it has to do maybe with some of that teaching and learning. But uh, in terms of this new life, it has to do with applying a lot of creativity here. Uh, maybe it's a new way of parenting, you know, with a particular union. And then also individuality that also brings a piece of yourself in that process. So you guys are going to know more what that means. I am loving this for you. You've got a new lease on life. And I look forward to seeing you in the month of June. And much love and support for the month of May. And until then, in June, namaste.